Chapter 2 Formulas and Functions in MS Excel 2010 In the chapter Cell Address Calculations in Excel Text Formula and Numeric Formula Functions Sum, Subtract, Product, Count, etc. Auto Sum MS Excel 2010 is a spreadsheet software used for calculations, presentations, and analysis of numerical data. Let us learn some more exciting features of Excel. You will find that formulas and functions used with correct cell address in Excel prove to be truly helpful while doing calculations in a spreadsheet. Cell Address Before moving forward, let us revise the concept of cell address. A cell address is nothing but intersection of the row and column where the cell is located. For example, a cell in column D and row 4 has the cell address as D4. The column of the cell is AB and row of the cell is 134. The cell address is simply AB134 as shown on the encircled address bar. So, the cell address for the first and the last cells in MS Excel 2010 are A1 and XFT1048576 respectively. A cell address can be absolute, relative or a mixed cell address. Relative cell address is 1 where the column label and row number are simply written side by side for a cell address. This means that the relative cell address for a cell located in column D and row 4 is D4. Absolute cell address is 1 where both the row number and column label are preceded by a dollar sign. This means that the absolute cell address for a cell located in column D and row 4 is dollar $D$4. Mixed cell address is 1 where either the column label or the row number is written as an absolute address and the other is written as a relative address. This means that the mixed cell address for a cell located in column D and row 4 is $D4 or D$4. The use of these types of cell addresses is discussed later in the chapter. Calculations in Excel Excel uses formulas and functions to do calculations. Before learning more about formulas, you need to remember one important thing. To make Excel understand that you want to enter a formula, the contents of the cell must begin with an equal to sign or a plus sign. You can perform various calculations using Excel such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, average and percentage. Using formulas Let us understand how to use formulas with the help of an example. Enter the mark sheet in a new spreadsheet. Now, you can simply add marks of the three subjects in columns C, D and E to calculate the total of them in column F. For this, you can type the formula is equal to 40 plus 35 plus 27 in cell F5 and press the Enter key. Excel will automatically do the calculations and show 
102 in cell F5. But if the teacher wants to change the numbers in English from 40 to 38, then the teacher will have to re-enter the formula. To avoid this and make your work easier, Excel gives you facility to use cell address in a formula in place of the actual data in the cell. This can be done by typing the formula is equal to C5 plus D5 plus E5 in cell F5 and press the enter key. Now, if you change marks in cell C5 from 40 to 38, Excel will automatically calculate the result with the changed digit and the new result is shown in cell F5. There are two other ways to enter this formula in cell F5. Firstly, you can use the mouse and keyboard and do the following steps. Type is equal to in cell F5. Click on cell C5. Press plus. Click on cell D5. Press plus. Click on cell E5. Press the enter key. You can also insert the formula with the help of the keyboard only as follows. Type is equal to in cell F5. Use the left arrow key to move to cell C5. Press plus. Use the left arrow key to move to cell D5. Press plus. Use the left arrow key to move to cell E5. Press the enter key. Now insert the formula is equal to F5 by 3 to calculate average in cell G5 by any of the above discussed methods. Copying formulas Excel allows you to copy formulas also. In this way, you do not have to insert formulas for each student separately. You can copy and paste the formulas for each student and Excel automatically changes the cell addresses for each student's marks if you are using the relative cell addresses. You can copy and paste a formula using the following steps. Select cell F5. Press Ctrl plus C or click on the copy icon on the clipboard group of the home tab. Select cell F6. Press Ctrl plus V or click on the paste icon on the clipboard group of the home tab. Select cell F6 and look at the formula bar. The formula bar does not show the contents of the cell, but the formula used in the cell. You will see how Excel has automatically updated the formula from is equal to C5 plus D5 plus E5 to is equal to C6 plus D6 plus E6. Repeat these steps to insert formulas in cells F7 to F9 and G6 to G9. To calculate percentage, you need the maximum marks in each subject, which are 50 as seen in cell B2. You need to type the formula is equal to F5 into 100 by B2 into 3 in cell H5 and press the enter key. Excel will calculate the result and show 68 as the answer in the cell. 
Now try to copy this formula as discussed earlier and paste it in cell H6. What happened? Excel is showing answer as hash div by 0. The reason for this is that when you have copied and pasted the formula, Excel has updated all cell addresses in the formula and changed the formula to is equal to F6 into 100 by B3 into 3. You can confirm this by selecting cell H6 and looking at the formula bar. But you never wanted to change the cell address for maximum marks, that is cell B2. This is where the absolute cell address needs to be used. Absolute cell addresses are used when we do not want Excel to update the cell address in a formula. So, in place of entering the previous formula, you must enter the formula is equal to F5 into 100 by $B $2 into 3 in cell H5 and press the Enter key. Now, if you copy and paste this formula in other cells, Excel will not update the cell address for cell B2 and calculate required percentages using cell address B2 only. Now, the updated mark sheet will look like this. Functions Excel also offers some predefined formulas. The instructions for these formulas are already defined in Excel. You have to select a predefined formula, give data and Excel will automatically use its defined instructions to calculate the result. These predefined formulae are known as functions in Excel and the data entered while using a function are known as functions arguments. Excel offers a wide variety of functions. To insert a function in a spreadsheet, follow the steps. 1. Click on the Formulas tab. 2. Click on the Insert Function tool. 3. Click here to open the Category drop-down list. 4. Select a category from which a function is to be inserted. 5. Select a function from the list. 6. Click on OK to open the Function Arguments dialog box to enter data for the function. Smart Tip To enter a range of adjacent cells in a function, enter the cell address of first and last cells in the range separated by a colon. For example, C5 colon C9. The function arguments are different for different functions. Function arguments are given in round brackets after a function definition, that is, is equal to function underscore name, round bracket open, function underscore arguments, round bracket closed. You can also insert functions from the drop-down menus of different categories of functions, such as for math and trig and more functions. Statistical located in the Functions Library group on the Formulas tab. Smart Tip While entering data for various functions, you can type a cell address as and when asked by Excel. Alternatively, you can also click on the cell to enter the cell address automatically in the dialog box. To enter a range of cells, click on the first cell 
and without releasing the mouse button, drag to the last cell. Excel will select all the cells in the range. Math and Trig Functions 1. Sum It is used to add a set of numbers or a series of cells. Function is equal to sum round bracket open number 1, comma, number 2, comma, and so on round bracket closed. Function arguments number 1, comma, number 2, comma, and so on. A number, cell address, or cell range can be entered. Examples Input is equal to sum 8, 16, 5. Output 29. Input is equal to sum C1, D2, E8. Output The data in cells C1, D2 and E8 will be added. Input is equal to sum A1 colon A7. Output All the data in cell A1 to A7 will be added. Product It is used to multiply all the given numbers. Function Is equal to product Round bracket open Number 1 Comma Number 2 Comma And so on Round bracket close Function arguments Number 1, comma, number 2, comma, and so on. A number, cell address, or cell range can be entered. Examples Input is equal to product, round bracket open, 4, comma, 6, comma, 3, round bracket closed. Output, 72. Input is equal to product, round bracket open, D2, comma, I4, comma, J1, round bracket close. Output, the data in the cells D2, I4 and J1 will be multiplied. Input is equal to product, bracket open, B4, colon, B8, bracket close. Output, all the data in cells B4 to B8 will be multiplied. 3. Quotient It is used to find quotient when one number is divided by another number. Function is equal to quotient, round bracket open, numerator, comma, Denominator, round bracket close. Function arguments, numerator, a number or a cell address that is to be divided. Denominator, a number or cell address by which numerator is to be divided. Examples, input is equal to quotient, round bracket open. 35, comma, 8, round bracket closed. Output, 4. Input is equal to quotient, round bracket open, D1, comma, C5, round bracket close. Output, the data in cell D1 will be divided by data in cell C5 and quotient will be displayed. 4. Power It is used to calculate the value of a number raised to a power. Function is equal to power, round bracket open, number, comma, power, round bracket close. Function arguments Number a number or a cell address can be entered. Power 
a number or a cell address can be entered. Examples Input is equal to power round bracket open 3 comma 2 round bracket close Output 9 Input is equal to power round bracket open 5 comma C1 round bracket close Output 5 raised to the power of data in cell C1 will be displayed. Statistical functions 1. Max It is used to find the highest number from a set of numbers or series of cells. Function is equal to max round bracket open number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on round bracket close. Function arguments number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on. A number, cell address or cell range can be entered. Examples Input is equal to max round bracket open C1 comma D4 comma A8 comma C4 round bracket closed. Output 48. Input is equal to max round bracket open C1 colon E4 round bracket close. Output the highest number from the given range of cells will be displayed. 2. Min It is used to find the lowest number from a set of numbers or series of cells. Function is equal to min round bracket open number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on round bracket close. Function arguments number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on. A number, cell address or cell range can be entered. Examples Input is equal to min round bracket open 36 comma 24 comma minus 39 comma minus 2 comma 48 round bracket close. Output minus 39. Input is equal to min round bracket open C1 comma D4 comma A8 comma C4 round bracket close. Output The lowest number from the given cells will be displayed. Input is equal to min round bracket open C1 colon E4 round bracket close. Output The lowest number from the given range of cells will be displayed. 3. Count It is used to count how many cells contain a number and not a text. Function is equal to count round bracket open number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on round bracket close function arguments number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on a number cell address or cell range can be entered examples input is equal to count round bracket open 4 comma 8 comma 9 comma 2 comma 10 round bracket close output 5 input is equal to count round bracket open c1 comma d4 comma a8 comma c4 round bracket close output it will display how many cells out of c1 d4 a8 
and C4 contain only numbers. Input is equal to count round bracket open C1 colon F8 round bracket close. Output it will display how many cells out of C1 to C8, D1 to D8, E1 to E8 and F1 to F8 contain only numbers. 4. Average It is used to calculate the average of a set of numbers or a series of cells. Function is equal to average round bracket open number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on. Round bracket close. Function arguments number 1 comma number 2 comma and so on. A number, cell address or cell range can be entered. Examples input is equal to average round bracket open 8 comma 3 comma 16 comma 5 comma 2 round bracket close output 6.8 input is equal to average round bracket open d1 comma 8 comma 7 comma c4 round bracket close output the average of 7 8 and data in cells C4 and D1 will be displayed. Input is equal to average round bracket open D4 colon D9 round bracket close. Output the average of all the data in cells D4 to D9 will be displayed. Auto sum Excel gives a shortcut to insert the most commonly used functions of sum, average, count, max and min. For this, enter the data in a single row or a single column. In the case of data entered in a row, click on the cell to the right of the last data entered. In the case of data entered in a column, click on the cell below the last data entered. The steps to select common functions using the auto sum command. Steps to use auto sum. 1. Click on the formulas tab. 2. Click here to open the auto sum drop down menu. 3. Select the function to be used from the list. Excel automatically uses the selected function to select range of data. The range of data selected is the entire row or column in which data has been entered. You can change the range by pressing the shift key and moving with arrow keys without releasing the shift key. When the range is selected, press the enter key. Excel will calculate and display the result. 